901 on the Talk of the Town. Welcome in now our next guest from the Texas State Fair. It's the senior vice president there, Rusty Fitzgerald. Rusty, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you. Yes. How are y'all this morning? Doing great this morning. You're, uh, I think, one hour behind us, central time in Texas, correct? Yeah, it's, it, it's about 8 o'clock here, so it's not, it's not too bad. Great. Uh, when does your workday start there at the Texas State Fair, and is that a continuous state fair throughout the year, or is it seasonal? It's seasonal. The State Fair of Texas is running uh, as we speak. You know, we're open for uh, about 24 days a year. It's the largest state fair in the country. Very good, and we're familiar with our state fair here in New York, just down the road in Syracuse from us in Utica. And, of course, uh, we're contacting you, and I talked to you the other day on the phone because we're studying feasibility and possibility for a gondola system in downtown Utica here. I know you've had one at the Texas State Fair for a number of years. Has it been successful for you, and how was it when you instituted that? Well, it, it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, ride to put in. Uh, we get, I don't know, a lot of people from the fair they get on it. it. It moves a lot of people real quick, and you get a great view of the the fare from the gondola. How about costs of construction, operation, maintenance, and upkeep? That's something we'd be interested in here as we study our feasibility. Well, you know, it depends on your ground conditions and uh, the length of it, how many cars you have on it. But if it's something like that, we put in something about eight hundred, eighteen hundred feet long. Uh, you're looking at about six and a half to seven million dollars, and you know that's turnkey. That's construction, the ride itself, the cars, you know, everything, uh, just to get her going. And then uh, the Texas Skyway, I believe it's called. Is that correct? That's correct. And uh, is that privately owned? That is owned by the State Fair of Texas. Mm-hmm. All right. We actually uh, uh, run it and take care of it. So, John, can you give us an idea? Does that's it rusty? I believe. Ru- I'm sorry, rusty. Does it? Does it? Uh... Loop the fair? Is that the idea? Is that where the ride goes? Well, it, uh, we've got our fair is about 277 acres, hmm. and it, it goes over the midway up towards Big Tex, uh, which is our 55-foot giant cowboy that's a mascot up at the front. And so it, it goes over a small section, but it takes from the midway end, one of our gates, to almost to another gate. And do you have events at the fairground all year in which this is used? Uh Occasionally, mm-hmm. we'll run it for some events in Fourth of July, uh, but uh, some of the weekend events uh, we may not operate it. Pros and cons that you hear from uh, the riders and participants. You, you know, everybody loves it. Uh, it's you know, even if they don't want to go anywhere, people just like to get on it and go across and see, especially at night and see all the lights. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's it's a really uh, cool attraction. People just want to ride it just to ride it. Yeah. Do you uh, Does it cross any bodies of water? Because here in Utica, in the downtown area, it would probably cross at least one body of water in the Erie Canal. Yeah, you know, uh, it depends on how wide that Erie Canal is. You can just span it and go over it. You know, you don't have to have poles, you know, any mm-hmm. certain distance. You can actually, you know, have one here, then skip, skip a ways, and then put one in, you know. So it shouldn't uh, shouldn't be an issue to put it over uh, the Erie Canal or body of water. Mm-hmm. How much does it cost to operate that? Do you know? Yeah, you know, the cost cost of maintenance. You're going to have some cost of maintenance. It's not anything uh, extremely high. Uh, you'll have uh, NDT non destructive testing that you have to do each each year. About twenty percent of the cars, you know, the grips that hold onto the rope. You know, about twenty percent a year after your first year. Yeah. Have, now, how old is the uh, is the system there that you put in? Uh, it's probably about six or seven years old. And still holding up well. It's holding up great. We have very little downtime on it, mm-hmm. and that all corresponds to how good your maintenance is mm-hmm. on it. We how have much a few do you charge to, for a ride. What does a person have to pay to take a ride on it? Uh, right now, it, it's about five or six dollars. Hmm. Wow. And, and Rusty, mm-hmm. we may we may face a few other obstacles here with uh, our elements and changings of the of the season. Is uh, are the cars heated or cooled? Or is there any uh, anything like that? No, they're not heated or cooled as you go around. So, you know, people kind of dress to what the season is, and you're fine on that. You know, you get a nice little breeze as you're up on the line running. So if it's hot and if it's cold, people are bundled up anyway. So who built it? Did you use outside contractors or people right from the state of Texas? No, uh, what I would recommend for it, there, you know, there's a company called Doppelmeyer. And now if you go skiing, I'm sure you have some ski areas mm-hmm. close by. Sure. They, they probably build 65% of every ski lift that's out there. They they will come in and turn key. That $6.5 million 
you know, dollar figure I gave you includes them coming in or a company like that and installing it. Hmm, that's and not... that's who I want to build it, somebody that does it every day. You right, know? for sure. It's not a too bad of a price tag, I yeah. guess, if you look at it. Yeah. John, maybe not... some – or uh, Rusty, I'm sorry, I keep calling you John. Rusty, maybe there's one other thing you can help us with here. We're having a problem uh, in our area with catching a wild steer. He's run loose. We've got video of him. He's in our inner city now, and we are not able to apprehend him. Any thoughts on a way to catch him or safely? Yeah, you need a cowboy up there. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty, thanks for your time. Really appreciate the uh, insight here. Sure. All right. Okay. So Rusty Fitzgerald, the senior vice president at the Texas State Fair, all about the Texas Skyway, which is the gondola system they're using down there and have used for a number of years as we consider the possibility here in Utica. It's a, it's a very interesting proposal. Mm -hmm. it's a, the interesting thing would be can you recoup the cost because it's pretty expensive, not for what you get, but it's a pretty good investment. And then you have the, the maintenance cost every year. I wonder if you would be able to recoup the cost of that or if it would, be, if it would generate a profit. Sure. If, you do it, if the municipality does it or if you could get a private contractor sure. to come in and do it and take it over, it's interesting. Yeah. I have to share something with you that I saw in the middle of the night last night. Yeah. I, I woke up. I don't know if anybody else does this. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't <laughs> sleep, so I turned the TV on. I'm flipping around, and it was one of those PBS channels, 24.2 sure. or whatever it was. Okay. And this was something in Salzburg, Austria, and on the ski where they have the ski slopes. Mm -hmm. In the summer, they have constructed these little, they call them a luge run. They're metal. They're about half a circle with a little water in it. And people get on these sleds, and you have, you can either, you pull it, push it forward, and it goes as fast as it can. You pull it back, and it'll break. Uh -huh. And people ride down these things, and they get a scenic view of the whole area just riding down this thing, and it's adults and kids, yeah. and they ride this sled. And that's how they make use of their ski slopes in the in summer. The, so, so they there's a sim, up. There's a similar device at uh, Song Mountain, I believe, or – no, I think it is Song Mountain in Syrac just outside of Syracuse they have one. I mean, we so. do have a ski slope right in Utica. I don't right. know if they put the – they tow the, these things up. They mm -hmm. come up the water. It's like a ski tow. They tow them up one little canal or luge, whatever you call it. Then they let them loose, and they just go down the people. I was surprised mm -hmm. that people didn't have helmets or anything on. Right. But they were just gliding down these things and looking at the scene. Let's just build a beach downtown. Come on. <laughs> All uh, right. I got, go a, I got a text from a, from a listener. <laughs> Australian cattle dogs. They're bred and trained to herd cattle. Okay. I think what you got to do is get a couple of 15-year-old kids that know how to use the drones. Get the drones Boom. out there. And this is a, this is a job for the drones. Okay. Mark Wolber coming up with a great idea. Well, they, on, they're the teaching drones. the drones at MV over there. Well, we had that a good guy class or, project. Yeah, get, the, for sure. get the drones out there. Idea. They'll take and cover a lot of area in a short time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's the talk of the town.